Hello and welcome to this Thursday morning edition of UND Weather Update. I'm meteorologist Ben Remington bringing you your forecast this morning. Checking out our forecast headlines out there right now, we do have a cool morning for us right now. Temperatures sitting down in the 50s and that is after the passing of a cold front. That very same cold front is expected to bring a severe risk to parts of Minnesota this evening. But behind that, hot pressure moves in and will bring in some southerly winds and give us a warm up for the weekend. Outside right now, we see some clouds approaching from the west and Grand Forks right now, but overall right over the city right now, we do have some sun out there, but of course it is still chilly. Temps are sitting at 53 right now with a north wind of seven miles an hour. So a little bit chilly to begin the morning out there. And across the region, we do see it that cold front sitting essentially from International Falls down towards Rapid Cities, characterized by 50s behind that thing for both Minot and Grand Forks and some middle to higher 60s over here in Minnesota, seeing temperatures of 69 in Marshall, 67 in Minneapolis, and decreasing the further north you go. That cold front did spark off some storms last night. Here is a picture of some lightning with those severe storms that passed through the Grand Forks area last night. These storms did produce some gusty winds as they moved through the area, um, but luckily no real big damage with those. And you can see that complex of thunderstorms right there. They developed just to the north of Grand Forks and moved across northern Minnesota throughout the night. And those currently are out over Lake Superior. We do see some of those showers developing just to the south and west of Grand Forks right now. Those will gradually move their way into the areas we go throughout the morning, but nothing too significant at the moment is associated with those. However, tonight that same exact system will move across Minnesota and thus the SPC has issued a slight risk for most of central Minnesota as we go into the afternoon, mostly for a wind and hail threat, but again, a tornado cannot be ruled out. Plenty of wind shear in play out there today. That storm coverage will maximize itself from Brainerd north to the Canadian border in this area of the slight risks. Those areas need to be the most watchful, but especially down in southern Minnesota, it is still a good idea to keep you yourself weather aware as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon. National Satellite and Radar is going to show that system and the precip associated with it moving through the area right now. But of course, the middle of the country is relatively clear at this point. We do see another cold front and system moving off of the east coast right now and that will make its way off of the continent as we go throughout the rest of the day. Futurecast is going to show our area with that low pressure system really beginning to deepen itself over central Minnesota as we go throughout the day. And about the 5 p.m. hour, we see some of those storms just begin to fire along the Canadian border. As we head forwards toward the 6, 7, 8 p.m. time frame, those storms are gonna fire off in more coverage again, mostly from the Brainerd area north is the biggest severe risk with those. We will see some storms fire south of that, they will have much less of a severe risk. After that, high pressure moves in, clears out the skies, and as that moves to the east of our area, southerly winds will return and we will get a warm up by the time we get towards Saturday morning. Today in Grand Forks, a high of 66 degrees. Again, spotty showers likely, some in the morning, some light possible in the afternoon hours as well, but it will remain mostly cloudy throughout most of the day. It will be gusty out there, north wind of 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up towards 25. Tonight we drop down to 45 degrees as that cold front moves further away from our area. The clouds will decrease and of course we will cool off quite a bit. West wind of five to 10 miles an hour out there. Tomorrow we'd reach a high of 67 degrees. It will be breezy out there again with a west northwest wind of 10 to 15 gusting to 25, but it will be nice and sunny for us as that high pressure moves into the area. If you look at the seven day forecast here, we see it both Thursday and Friday, the temperatures are quite similar, but of course, as that high pressure moves to our east, we see those warm temperatures return into the mid seventies for Saturday. And by the time we get towards Sunday, we are reaching up into the eighties, 88, the predicted high for Sunday. So quite a warm one out there. But by the time we get towards Monday, we do see a chance of thunderstorms and showers return. And that continues for the next three days. And especially on Monday, we do have a chance of some severe weather with that. So make sure you are paying attention. It is kind of getting out of that severe season for up here, but it does still look possible that Monday could see the return of some severe weather for our area. Thank you for watching UND Weather Update and please tune in next time.